Is, is Houston been running this uh, election on the up and up, fair and square? Well, he, he's been uh, purging voters that are disproportionately poor, uh, minority, uh, black, and Hispanic. So a million voters were purged between the last election and this election. And if he sends something to an address and, and it says right on the ballot, do not forward, if it returns twice, he can purge you. He's purged people for not voting in the 2014 election, for not voting in the 2012 election. And then he accidentally forgot to send out uh, a million, uh, 50, uh, thousand votes uh, to people uh, seeing if they wanted to have a mail-in early voting ballot. So wait, so he failed to send information to voters, a million voters, that they had the right to an absentee ballot? Yes. A million people have been purged, mostly minorities. How are the ways that they can be purged? The biggest way is they've moved. They still stay in that county. Uh, and they have a right to vote, right? They can go down to the Board of Election uh, on Election Day or they can go to their new address uh, and take one of 17 pieces of IDs, utility bills. So uh, when you remove them uh, from the voting uh, rolls, you make sure they don't get to exercise their rights, which theoretically they've been uh, guaranteed. And again, in the 2012 election, uh, about a million people were uh, purged as well by Secretary of State John Houston. So it's the same pattern. Uh, you go to Cleveland, you go to uh, Toledo, you go to the inner city of Cincinnati and the black areas uh, of Columbus. There's nine major urban areas uh, and that's where they go uh, to purge people. Uh, they never go to Miami County. They never go to Claremont uh, County. Are those white counties? Oh, absolutely, lily white. Hard to find a black person there. Now, the Secretary of State has claimed that, uh, that there are massive number of Ohioans who voted, in who voted in Ohio, but have also voted illegally in a second state. Is there mass voter fraud going on here with people voting twice? Uh, there's been virtually no evidence uh, ever. Uh, they keep talking about this, uh, but oddly, if people are committing crimes on this mass scale, uh, why don't they indict somebody? Uh, I, w I challenge the Secretary of State, John Houston, uh, to go and file actual police reports. It's got nothing to do with crimes being uh, committed. It's got everything to do with rigging the election for the Republican Party. Despite the uh, Ohio's failing to give us the uh, cross-check files, we obtained a substantial part of it. And uh, our analysis is that it is overwhelmingly voters of color uh, mm -hmm. that have been hit. In the sheets I showed you before, mm -hmm. there were, I showed you several pages here in Columbus of people who are on the cross-check suspect list of vote, uh, accused of voting twice, including about 40 people named Mohammed Mohammed, who are each accused of voting a second time, Mohammed Rashid Mohammed and Ro Mohammed Al Weiss Mohammed. None of the middle names match. Why would he purge an Ohio voter based on someone with a similar name but a different middle name? Because of all the all those minority groups uh, have the propensity to vote Democratic. So what he's really doing is targeting the Democratic base because when the people are given their rights and the votes are counted fairly, Ohio's not even a battleground state. Mr. Houston's party would not be faring very well. No, they're, uh, they're only competitive now because of uh, you know, mass incarceration. Uh, and, uh, and to stay competitive, they've got to do mass voter purges. And apparently also they need to turn off the audit logs and the electronic ballot imaging as well. So do you believe that this is a way that they're going to try to steal this election? Absolutely.